Hi there, I'm Dr. Kyle McCasey, chiropractor here at Athos, and today I'm going to take you guys through finding a neutral spine position in lying flat on your back or a supine position, side lying, and on all fours or quadruped position. These would be the positions that you would typically do a lot of um, rehab exercise in, uh, specifically for low back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, or hip pain, okay? So I've got my lovely assistant, Emily, here. So we're gonna start with finding neutral spine lying on your back. So first thing here, obviously, lying on the ground on your back. We want knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and knees and feet hip distance apart. So an easy way to find that, two fists together, and bring your feet in until they touch your hands. Good, perfect. Typically people think that hip distance is a lot wider than it actually is. We tend to think to the outside, but what we're looking for is a neutral alignment with the joint, which is a lot more narrow. So now what I'm gonna do is get Emily to bring her thumbs and her fingertips together, making a diamond shape. She's going to place her thumbs on her belly button. Palms will go on the hip bones right at the front here. Fingertips are gonna lay right on top of the pubic bone there. If the pelvis is aligned, we should feel a slight dip or arch in the low back. Now we want to bring the ribs into a neutral position. So to do this, you can take a deep breath in and sigh and imagine your breastbone sinking down towards the ground. Good. Heads nice and relaxed here. You can bring your hands down by your side and now we're in a neutral spinal alignment. So typical exercises that you may be doing while in a supine neutral position would be a dead bug or a basic ab curl. All right, let's get you side lying. Okay. So in side lying position here, we want back of head in line with spine in the mid back in line with the sacrum or that triangular shaped bone in between the two pelvic bones and our heels in line with pelvis okay so what i'm going to have emily do here is shift her sit bones a little farther back behind her so again we get that nice gentle curve within the low back okay now what i want her to do is take a deep breath in and shift her rib cage back ever so slightly, allowing the front ribs to knit in towards the body. Okay? Now for the head alignments. We wanna bring back of head in line with spine. Perfect. And then from here, finally, I want you to imagine you're shifting your top hip bone towards your heels. You should feel the bottom side of your waist and bottom ribs pick up a little bit up off the ground. So here we have Emily now in a neutral spinal position in side lying. Again, this side lying position is where we would do some hip abduction or glute knee or side glute strengthening exercises. For example, a clamshell. So again, keeping heels together pelvis aligned, lifting the top knee up and away from the bottom knee and slowly lowering back down. Nice. All right, and so finally we have quadruped position or on hands and knees, okay? So from here, I'm going to have Emily bring her knees directly under her hips. So I'm gonna have you shift those back just a tiny bit there. Perfect, and then wrists under shoulders, okay? So again, we're looking for that slight dip in the low back. So again, tilting your sit bones back and away from you towards the wall behind you. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is fill up through the back of the ribs here. So push into the ground with your hands. Perfect. And then head in line with spine. All right, 
Perfect. So again, in this position, another typical exercise that you may be given by one of your therapists would be the bird dog, again. Lovely. So some key things to think about while in this position, we want even weight and pressure throughout all four limbs, okay? So making sure that there's even pressure between the knees and distributed through the wrists and shoulder blades collapsing. So Emily, if you could just show what that would look like. Perfect. And collapse your shoulders there. Okay. So see here now we have kind of a big U type position of the spine, okay? Pressing the ribs up gives us that proper curve within the thoracic spine or the mid back. Another thing that we wanna look out for too, again, is maintaining that slight dip or arch within the low back. Typically something we do see is people will round up and flex into the low back here, okay? By doing this, we tend to create a little bit more sheer and compressive um, forces on the low back, which for someone who is experiencing low back pain could be aggravating. So by maintaining that natural slight dip in the low back, that arch there, we're able to better activate the inner unit deep core muscles and reduce those shear and compression forces through the spine. So now that we've been able to find neutral pelvic position, in our next series of videos, we're going to be going over how to activate the deeper inner unit core muscles to provide stability to the spine. Stay tuned.